back here from my pet here. I'm taking a break from the garden today and I'm enjoying the beautiful Hollywood Beach in Florida. And as I was swimming, I noticed that there was a whole lot of seaweed in the, in the water. And as you come out, you can see there's a whole ton of seaweed along the water, along the beach. And you guys know seaweed is packed in nutrients. You know it's, if you guys like sushi, the seaweed is what they use to make that wrap the sushi. It's in a lot of Asian dishes. And what even better, seaweed is really, really good for the garden. It is packed with nutrients for the garden. It has 10 times more minerals than a land-based um, plant. And it has a lot of calcium, it has iodine. And I'm going to show you today how I'm going to collect my seaweed here. And later on when I get home, I'm going to show you how to process that seaweed to make compost teas and to use, make, it, make it into compost and mulch for the garden. So stay tuned. I just got back from my relaxing morning on the beach and I have my freshly harvested seaweed here you can see what it looks like I harvested most of it from the ocean itself because those were like the freshest and then I also picked up a lot along the along the um, along the beach so remember just be watch your read your your local rules and regulations because you can't just go and harvest all the seaweed you have to make sure you leave enough for the sea creatures and the animals seaweeds aren't just nutritious for us and for the soil it's also super nutritious for the animals and there's a lot of seal creatures that actually live on seaweed so as you can see there was tons of seaweed in the ocean where i was today the entire beach was covered by seaweed so me taking this back was quite fine but you don't want to go somewhere where there's hardly any seaweed and take all the seaweed. You need to leave some for the animals. Anyway, let's talk about how we're going to harvest it, how we're going to prepare it. You can see this is beautiful, fresh seaweed. This is mainly what, what I got from the ocean itself. You can, if you leave this for like a few days, it will get very brown and, and be broken down. So because seaweed is from the sea, of course it's packed with salt. And a lot of you may know that anything that has a lot of salt would actually kill the plant so you have to be very very careful to prepare the seaweed and wash it well some people put it directly on the ground and they say, and they say it doesn't bother them they use it as mulch but i always like to wash the seaweed thoroughly um, to get rid of that excess salt so to wash the seaweed actually you're gonna take a, a bucket i don't have a bucket i had this old um cooler sitting around the garden so i'm gonna use this cooler as my bucket I'm gonna dump the seaweed in here and I'm gonna wash it thoroughly several times. If you have a bucket, you can just keep, you can see all the flies from the, you know, they smell that salty sea smell. I'm just gonna wash this very, very well. I'm gonna put it on, probably put it on jet and wash it very, very well. I'm gonna wash this probably at least five or six times to get rid of the excess salt. So what I'm going to do is fill this up with water probably at least five or six times and then rinse it and then let it sit. So I'm filling up with water, pouring the salty water off, doing it several times until we get rid of all the excess salt and then we'll be ready to meet, uh, make our tea. So as I wash this, um, oh special shout out to Queen B T L C. I actually met her on the beach today. So I was out gathering my seaweeds and she saw me gathering it and asked if I was going to make tea with it. So I said, actually, I'm making tea for my plants. And she's like, wow, she makes tea. She started telling me some really good facts that seaweed has like over 100 trace minerals and it's really, really good 
um, to make tea and she actually makes tea with her seaweed to drink and she drinks it like for two or three days um, and it has a whole lot of nutrition so I told her I, I would give her a special shout out maybe one day we can make our seaweed tea I'll make my compost tea and she can make her tea to drink yeah so as I wash it you guys can already see the color of the water look at the color of the water so all of this that brown color this is what it's gonna be the tea but for now we have to like rinse this off we're gonna have to pour this water off at least two or three times I will say at least four or five times to get rid of the salt and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill this up with water cover it and this is what's gonna make the tea so I'll be back in just one minute after I wash this off all right, so I wash it, I finished washing it, rinsing it well. You can see the water is a lot clearer now. I actually have the water still on, it's filling up. But I just wanted to give you a, a couple more facts about the benefits of, of um, using seaweed and, and making a compost tea. So what I'm gonna do is, after this fills up, I'm gonna cover it over and I'm gonna put it in a very sunny spot in the yard. And what is gonna happen over the next several days to a week it's gonna ferment and it's gonna, gonna make like a tea. Then it's gonna, you're gonna see the water become a lot darker and murkier. So the, the benefits of this tea is, it's very different from regular, like if you say, if you, you cut plants, regular plants, land-based plants and put them as compost, there's no need for the seaweed to break down, right? Before you use it as mulch. There's no need for it to break down before you use it as mulch. You can actually use the seaweed directly in the garden right now as mulch. However, what we're gonna do is use it as a tea. There are certain elements in the seaweed tea that causes, that repels bugs. So I'm gonna use it to spray my plants. So not only is it gonna feed the plants and the nutrition is, is gonna go directly into the leaves, it's also gonna repel bugs. Um, it repels slugs, it, it repels regular bugs. So I'm gonna use this all throughout my garden. And then at the end, after I finish making my tea, let me turn this off. After I finish making my tea, I'm gonna use this and mulch it directly in the garden. So that is it for today. What I'm gonna do is in a few days, I'll come back and let you see what it looks like after say like four or five days. You can see the water is a lot clearer now because I washed it multiple times. And now we're gonna close it up and we're gonna make it be tea. And that is it for now. I'm gonna come right back and in a, in a few days I'll show you the end. Then I'll say goodbye for this episode. All right, it's been exactly one week since we cleaned our seaweed and we and we filled it up, filled up the tub. So let's take a look and, and see what it is now. Woo! Look at that. So if you guys remember just last week the water was completely clear now it's very dark and murky i'm not going to put my hand in it, it oh it has a very strong smell you can smell the sea so this is like beautiful uh this is what you call um compost tea seaweed compost tea packed in nutrients packed in minerals over 60 between 60 and 100 trace minerals that can directly benefit the plant this compost tea, I'm gonna add it to my veggies, add it to my fruit trees in the front. Um, the rule of thumb is, this has a whole ton of seaweed in it, so I'm gonna actually dilute it. For every week that you have it sitting, you probably wanna cut it by half. So I'm gonna put maybe, this is my two gallon jug. I'm probably gonna put half of the seaweed liquid and then half of water just to dilute it. Always, of course, whenever you try anything new on your plants, always just test it out first before especially since this is pretty potent test it out first to see but you know this is 100 organic no chemicals you know exactly what's in it so what i'm gonna do is luckily this has a spigot so i'm just gonna open this spigot and allow the liquid to flow out Woo! all right so here we have our compost tea so i'm gonna fill this up halfway I finished filling up um, half seaweed tea and half water so this is what it looks like you can look at it so I see it's very it's a, a dark color but it's not very very murky so the rule of thumb is if it's been soaking for a week you want to put one part water one part seaweed tea if it's been soaking for two weeks 
you want to put one part C, um, seaweed tea compost and two parts water three weeks three parts water and, and go and so forth so since this is only one week I've gone half and half one part water one part tea um, what I'm gonna also do is use the actual seaweed as mulch so let's look and see what the seaweed is as you guys can see I've had a um, a wardrobe change and I've put on double gloves because I do not want to put my hands in this so um, zoom in look at the water you see you can see the water is a lot darker now and the seaweed is beginning to break down you know remember there was a much um, lighter color with like a light golden brown before um, it's still a pretty golden brown but it's still it, you can see it's breaking down as the weeks pass this is gonna break down even more I'm gonna take some of this because I want to use some of this as mulch and this is different from regular plant material normally you never want to put fresh plant material um, you have to wait for it to decompose but with seaweed you can actually use it right away as mulch seaweed is excellent excellent not only for the the, the nutrients but the liquid is a great pest repellent and this is actually seaweed actually contains a lot of plant growth hormones so it helps to build up the, um, the root system of the plant it helps plants grow a whole lot stronger and it is extremely water retentive so when you put this on your plants especially as a mulch it really helps to um, retain water so I'm just gonna go really quickly and show you how I'm gonna water my veggies over there oh and also did I say it was a great insect repellent so I'm gonna it's good for slugs and and other insects that like veggies so I'm gonna sprinkle some on my plants over there and then I'm gonna put some on my papayas and my veggies some of this as mulch so let's just go water the plants real quick um, it's pretty simple at, at this point all right so we're over at my peppers and my herbs so I'm just gonna water from the top so the leaves are drenched so this is getting the benefits the roots are getting the benefit as well as the leaves are getting the benefits of the pest repellent so of course the way it, it works is that the nutrients are getting absorbed into the actual leaves of the plant I'm giving some to my orchid also my peppers my peppers always have a lot of white flies. I don't know if it helps white flies. It, um, I know it helps insects and slugs. So I'm hoping white flies fall in that category. Got my Thai basil. My mint is, it's kind of getting hot for the mint. It's on its way out. But, and get my purple scotch bonnet pepper, which is finally giving me a lot of peppers. So I'm gonna refill and get the rest of my plants. Um, and I'm gonna show you really quickly how I'm gonna put the mulch around the base Okay, so what I'm gonna do now with the rest of the with the seaweed is put it around my papaya tree I've been getting blossoms for several months, but the blossoms keep dropping So I think it needs a little bit of nutrition and it definitely needs to keep the moisture in so I'm gonna lay some of this here and what I probably do is just dig in a little bit Put some in the ground so let it help it to break down and i'm just going to use this as mulch and it may seem like it's a lot but this is going to be break down in such a way that you won't even see it in a couple days drop some beside my my um avocado tree put a little bit on my nasberry tree i don't put it directly on the against the trunk i just give it a little space but this will all break down and be make it good put the rest of the liquid here then I'll just do this 10 more times. Anyway, that's all I wanted to show you guys. I'll come back in a couple weeks to show you how the trees look after they've been fertilized with the seaweed compost. I probably will be using this every week for the next few weeks until that batch is done. What you can do as the batch goes down, you can add more water to, to stretch the compost and let it last longer. Anyway guys, till next time, let's plant, grow and eat together. Bye now.